Hello students, how are you doing today? You're doing great, outstanding. Today we're going to do a pronunciation practice. We're going to practice uh, the sounds of O and R or R. Uh, we're going to do it by saying two tongue twisters. Tongue twisters. Okay, we're going to start off slowly and then we will repeat faster and faster. So, please repeat with me. Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Okay. Rarely means seldom. Lul. Lul. Do you know what a lullaby is? Lul is when you calm, for example, when you calm a baby and you put him to sleep. Maybe you sing him a song. Uh, Shabbat baby. Right? That is to lul. Okay? A rooster is a male grown chicken, right? He's not a pullet anymore, he is a rooster, okay? Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural, means it's rural, it's not in the city, roosters to sleep. Then we have a leaky rear latch on the listing bark lifted right up and the water rushed in and the water rushed in so leaky leaking is something that allows the water to go through the water when the water seeps through something it's leaking Rear means not the front, opposite of the front, latch. You know what a latch is? A latch is the thing on the door that has a little bar and you move it to close the door. Okay? You have the doorknob, but on top you have a latch. Okay? Anything that is you slide through to keep a door closed is a latch. Okay? On the listing bar. Bark. Here's an old word for boat. For a boat. A bark. A listing bark. It's a, it's, a, it's a small boat. Lifted right up and the water rushed in. So, repeat. Laura and Larry rarely go their rural roosters to sleep. Notice as we practice how we will sing in English, right? It's like a song. Laura and Larry, Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Faster. Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Are you practicing? Yes, come on, repeat out loud. Not in, not in silent. You need to repeat out loud. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's not a problem, okay? You need to practice. Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Laura and Larry rarely lull their rural roosters to sleep. Very good. This will help your pronunciation. Now, here's a longer one. A leaky rear latch on the listing bark lifted right up and the water rushed in. A leaky rear latch on the listing bark lifted right up and the water rushed in. See how I organized the clauses so that I could, so that English could be more fluently? A leaky rear latch on the listing mark lifted right up and the water rushed in. 
And by dividing it into clauses, I also create the song of English. Look, a leaky rear latch on the listing bar lifted right up and the water rushed in. See that? A leaky rear latch on the listing bar lifted right up and the water rushed in. A leaky rear latch on the listing bar lifted right up and the water rushed in. A leaky rear latch lifted right oops. A leaky rear latch on the listing bar lifted right up and the water rushed in. Are you repeating? Come on, repeat. A leaky rear latch on the listing bar lifted right up and the water rushed in. Okay? So here, a rear latch. This means it has to be there has to be some type of door, a hatch, some type of door in, on the boat. A listing bark is a boat, right? Uh, so something must have lifted and the water came into the boat, right? A leaky rear latch on the listing bark lifted right up and the water rushed in. There you go. That was very good, see? Laura and Larry rarely go their rural roosters to sleep. Laura and Larry rarely go their rural roosters to sleep. Yeah, I know they are difficult, but if we practice, 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 then we begin to, be, to uh, become more fluent. Laura and Larry rarely go their rural roosters to sleep. A leaky rear latch on the listing bar lifted right up and the water rushed in. Very well. So students, practice repeating these sentences as tongue twisters. Try and say them as fast as you can. So you can improve your pronunciation. I'll see you next time.